Hi there, we're down here today at the RNLI's fantastic facilities at their headquarters in Poole. What we're doing is testing a range of life jackets from some of the leading European manufacturers. So shortly I'll be jumping in uh, this worryingly cold water and uh, seeing if they hopefully inflate. And afterwards we'll be being pulled out uh, by some lifeguards onto the dinghy over there to make the rescue situation as realistic as we possibly can. The waves are on, um, so without further ado, let's get wet. So there we've uh, tested 12 life jackets today. Uh, I'm soaking wet and very cold, but I have some tea, which is nice. I'm just glad it's not February. Um, a few things I've learned since being in the water, uh, spray hoods, uh, really, really important feature on a life jacket, especially if it's uh, you know chopping up out there. We tested one life jacket in some pretty interesting conditions um, and the guys been on the, the big waves and I was being hosed and it's really uncomfortable um, if you don't have some protection over your face. So if you've got a spray hood on your life jacket, great stuff. If you don't, maybe you should think about getting one. Um, crotch straps, obviously, uh, are great because they stop the life jacket riding up. Uh, and another thing is you get tired really quickly. So, um, and, it, and it starts to affect your thoughts. So if you're in the water and it's cold, uh, it's really important that you know where all the features of your life jacket, where things are, the lifting straps, for instance, and the manual inflation and the lights and all that kind of thing. Because uh, if you've got to think about that when you're in the water, it, it gets quite tricky. Hi, my name's Tony Wafer. I'm the Coastal Safety Programs Manager here at the RNLI. We all know how important life jackets are for safety, but some one third of life jackets that our volunteers see won't work in our opinion due to poor maintenance. So I'm here just to give you a few very simple hints and tips on how to maintain your own life jacket. So one of the key things with life jackets is if you're at all concerned, always take them back uh, to the life jacket service manufacturers for a, an annual service. Otherwise, there are some very simple hints and tips you can do. Don't be afraid to open your life jacket. The manufacturers will provide instructions on how you can do it, but this one is very simply velcroed up. From this point on, I can see a visual inspection of how the life jacket looks, any salt marks, any rub marks on the points. Um, I can look at the general visual, instruction, uh, visual appearance. I'll always want to know how my life jacket inflates. So make sure you know exactly what type of firing system you have, making sure that the indicators are green, if they've got indicators on them, that the bottle is the right size and weight for the actual uh, life jacket, and that it's done up tight. I can feel this, this is done up nice and tight. There are no um, corrosion marks around the bottle, and therefore it shouldn't rub uh, when the, uh, the, the, uh, the bottle goes back in. Key element, all life jackets are classed as manual uh, with an automatic device. So always, always make sure that you've got your manual toggle um, out and knowing where it is to inflate. Apart from that, it's as simple as that. Um, Tony, um, when you come to buy a life jacket, what are the key things you should be looking out for? Um, there's a number of sort of key things, but one of the most important sort of messages really is buy a life jacket or buoyancy device that's fit for purpose for your type of boating. Um, always, always make sure that it's got crutch straps. The majority of life jackets nowadays will come with them as standard. And as Stuart has found out in the water today, spray hoods are an absolute must. Um, they protect your airways. Uh, they protect from the cold and the spray. They've got a huge amount of visibility. And one of the key things when you're in the water is you want to be found as quick as possible. 
So if you've got a spray hood and a light as well, they're the three main things that you can actually um, go for when choosing a life jacket.